and uh, hello everyone welcome back to the node concept today we are going to do the math node which is the first of the converter node and basically there are uh, there will be only four tutorial i guess uh, and we'll be done with the converters and i am sd and with me shubham from blender files so let's just get started so uh, we won't be needing actually quite a thin setup we'll just use a plane and a hell lot of node editor <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's just add in border and remove the walls. Okay, so we have black color. Yay! Okay, we just uh, log the samples. Too much. Okay, add new material and uh, delete everything and add in a converter mass. Okay, huh, it will take. Six tutorials, I guess. Six videos. Anyways, so today we have the math node. So uh, once you add your math node, it will, uh, it will be called add by default because of the values which you can choose from here, the operation, mathematical operation. So it basically contains every mathematical uh, operation that you will ever need. And you can you know make complex algorithms using that. And we won't be actually discussing all of them, and we'll just show you how to use it, and which are you know having single input value, you know, and which are having device. So some are actually taking only one value in consideration. Currently, let's just add this. Okay, so uh, we have an operation type over here, and two value inputs, and a clamp, and it returns a value, of course. And the values over here uh, are judged upon the operation which is provided over here. So, uh, firstly, it is the add, and uh, you can see a value of 0.5 and a value of 0.5 is being added, which gives a result 1. You can plug that into the strength, and you can see it's quite the same. Okay, so uh, to actually determine the strength, what you can do is grab this up and add in oops, a cube. And array it. Array. So we are going to make a scale again, just as we did for the light fall off, and that will do good. Okay. So here we have our scale ready. And next one do is we we'll have a sip of water. Oh, There's a sandstorm going outside, and hell of dust in the room. <laughs> Alright, so we can see our ad is giving a strength of 1 and the color is already 1. Okay, so we can't actually see to the bottom because the strength is 1. So our scale will you know, give it a rating of like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Okay, now, uh, now if I increase the values to something like 2 and 3, so now we have emission strength of 5. And now you can see almost the whole scale. All right, but uh, the thing is, uh, once we uh, change, uh, turn on the clamp value, it will restrict the result between zero and one. So the, uh, as soon as I press the clamp, you can see the strength goes back to one. So here we can again see only our six nodes, uh, six level of scale and whatever. <laughs> Okay, so that is what the ad is doing, and basically everything is something like that. So subtract, you know, okay, well, subtract, no, uh, this value minus this doesn't affect for addition because you know addition is commutative, subtraction is not. So you need to subtract some like five minus three and you get a strength of two. Next comes the multiply. So multiply multiplies these, and we have a output of fifty. And if we clamp that, we'll go to 1 again. So, that is what multiply is doing. Next. Oh dear. There is... <laughs> okay. Uh, the wind is actually blowing really strong today. I don't know. I can rate it 10 out of 5. <laughs> you can rate it on this scale, actually. <laughs> Alright, so, wind is actually... Uh, Ripping the house off, it just blew two boxes off. <laughs> so, 
All right, <laughs> back to the video. All right, so uh, the multiply is giving the strength of 15 over here. Next, we divide. So, oh, dividing something by a very dividing this by this, it is again not commutative. So you cannot divide some stuff by zero. Uh, not defined. <laughs> but having a really small value over here, like 0 0.001, it will give really bright color. That's that's very close to infinity. Ta da! Right, and that's basically it. Okay, so zero divided by anything is zero again. Next comes the sine. So there are uh, now values still the arc tangent, the sine, cosine, tangent, arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent. So these only consider the first value. So uh, let's just put the sine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, sine it you know it considers only first value, not the second, and you know, the second value is used as a way. So, uh, sine of 1. I don't know, it takes degree or radians. Okay, so uh, it takes values in radians. So, you have to remember those values. You know, like uh, sine pi by 2 gives the value of 1. So, uh, so, you have to remember the sine values because, you know, it takes it in radians and that's messy. And so value like pi by 2 gives you a value of 1, which is 3.14 divided by uh, 2. Gives you a strength of 1. You can see 6 levels of detail. So that is sine. Same as cosine. Cosine 0 gives you 1. Same as for tangent. Tan of 1.51, I guess. Let's just... Sorry, so that was 3.14 divided by 4. I'm not good at math that much. <laughs> anyway, so uh, these three, uh, the arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent, are the inverse of these three. So uh, arc sine is sine inverse, uh, and this is cos inverse, and this is tan inverse. So you can you can play around with that. It won't be actually showing showing you much of stuff. So it again takes a value and returns to you. Uh, Radian. <laughs> it returns your radian, which is treated as friends. So, uh, huh. so if you press one, you'll get a bit higher than one. So it'll, it's the result of pi by two. Okay, so that's close enough to one point five. So that's thing, right? So next is the power. Okay, so power takes two values. So a power of value one raised. Uh, I mean, a value of. Uh, for, Okay, so the first value will be raised to the power of the second value. So, uh, 1 raised to power 1, it gives you 1, and 1 raised to power 2, again gives you 1, <laughs> and then we have 2 to the power 2, gives it a result of 4. So, you know, the same. <laughs> so, gives you 4. <laughs> and then we do it black. So, the match is so fun actually, I still don't like it that much. <laughs> Next is the logarithm. Logarithm takes only uh, the first. Well, no, it does take the uh, second value. Why? Okay to the base B. Oh, all right. So logarithm. <laughs> Man, I'm so <laughs> depressed. <laughs> Not depressed. Uh, embarrassed, actually. Oh, logarithm. Uh, value of this to the base that. I guess. Right. Log. 10 to the base 1, oh, 10 to the base one. gives you 1. So log 10 to the base 10 gives you a value of 1. <laughs> right, I'm so <laughs> feeling bad. You know, when my friends will uh, see this video and they'll just make fun of me, nice fun out of me. <laughs> even my even my math teacher will. <laughs> He'll be more embarrassed. Okay, so next the minimum and the maximum. So, you know, it compares which value among them is maximum and minimum the opposite. So we can play around with that. Then there is oh, so many more. So round off. So it rounds off the value. It won't be that much visible, you know. So a uh, round off, you know, it rounds off value between zero and one. So a value of ten gives you one. It doesn't affect the second value. No, it doesn't affect the second value. All right. So. Uh, it rounds off, so 0 0.01 will be 0, 0.5 will be 1, 0 0.4 will be 0, and 
something like that. It doesn't take a second input. Alright, next comes the left end. <laughs> it compares two values and gives you the left of them. It actually gives you a true false value. Okay, uh, the way to explain it. So uh, it uh, no, compares if this is less than this or not. And if it is less, it will uh, return a value 1. And if it is not, it will result. Uh, it will. It will return a value of zero. I'll have a sip of water. Hmm. The water is dusty. <laughs> so much sand, and it's raining. Wow. Google was wrong. <laughs> so Google was wrong. Yay! We were having a bet about you know is it going to rain or not. He googled, and Google was wrong. Eh, as usual. <laughs> Next is the greater than. So it does the same stuff as the less than, just the opposite. If it is greater, then it will result a uh, 1. I mean the upper value. If it is greater, then it will give a 1. If uh, in case of uh, less than, if it is lesser than second value, then it will return a 1. Right, so that is what greater than and less than is doing. So uh, next is the modulo, and I have no single clue about this one. And Shubham will tell you, and the last one as well. Hey, <laughs> right, so. So what modulo is, it's a mathematical function which gives you the remainder. So like in divide, it will give you the direct product. And in modulo, it will give you the remainder. So if you do like 10, with modulo 2, it will give 0. And 9, it will give 1. And if I do 9.5, it will give 1.5. And same thing, 9.8, then 0, then 10.1 will give 0.1 and so on and then there is the absolute value which does not take into consideration the second input and what it gives is the absolute value so like 2 will give 2 also minus 2 will give 2 also minus 10 will give the same result as 10 so it's like so. ignoring the negative value alright so we covered each of them on our Lighting scale. <laughs> that was funny. All right, so that was the math node. Really awesome. Really small. That was quite small. I thought it will take a hell of time. <laughs> so yeah, that is the math node, and we hope you learned and enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, the next video we'll be covering up the color ramp. That is another awesome man. That's cool. And. To see that video, do subscribe and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash blenderfile. And we hope to see you in our next video. Till then, happy blending and if you have suggestions, drop in the comment section. See ya, bye.